So is it trans people or dads we need to be worried about? This is a word. This is a world premiere. This is a word. So a few of you have asked me to make a video responding to the recent removal of or attempt to remove protections for transgender people when it comes to their use of public bathrooms. If you ask me, the whole thing is pretty ridiculous, and it's pretty clear just to be an arbitrary attack on the rights of transgender people. And if you go back to some of my recent videos, you'll see how I explain how these arbitrary rules and regulations are just an attempt to enforce, to protect, to maintain the status quo. So for most people, whether you realize it or not, you have probably already shared a public restroom with a trans person. This kind of thing happens all the time without causing people undue stress. And what bothers me most is the failed logic that people use to justify preventing people from using the bathroom that fits with the gender they identify with. They claim that these laws are to protect women and children from would-be assailants in restrooms, but they fail to provide the statistics to back up these claims. A few weeks ago, Milo Yiannopoulos appeared on Bill Maher. He made the completely unfounded claim that somehow transgender people are disproportionately involved with sexual assault crimes. Well, he chose his words carefully. Yes, transgender people are disproportionately involved in sexual assault crimes, generally as the victim. The National Coalition of Anti-Violence Programs produced a study which showed that 72% of hate crime victims are transgender people. There's this irrational claim that continues to be made that somehow men are going to dress up as women and go into bathrooms and assault women and children, ignoring the fact that most of the assaults on women and children aren't happening in bathrooms. In fact, most of these assaults are made by people who already know the victim. I mean, I don't even really want to get into it that deep because, you know, trans people can speak for themselves and women can speak for themselves. Cat Black made an amazing video about this. I'll include a link to it in the description box below. I do want to talk a little bit about this idea of transgender people and sexual assault and violence against children. It seems to me that that strikes a particular chord in people when they're talking about the potential danger of having transgender people in restrooms. Now, according to the Bureau of Justice Statistics, child sex offenders represent 1 to 5% of the U.S. population. 96% of these individuals are men. 70% of the perpetrators are white. 71% of these perpetrators is under the age of 35. Just under one-third of the perpetrators are relatives of the victim. Just under two-thirds of the perpetrators are acquaintances of the victim. Only about 10% of these perpetrators are strangers, which means that a fair number of these crimes against children are happening in their homes or while they're in the care of someone that the parents trusted. In fact, in one third of convictions for child sexual assault, the perpetrator was the parent. So according to the statistics, it's not transgender people that we have to worry about. An organization that deals specifically with child sexual assault victims spoke to 850 child victims of sexual assault. In these 850 cases, the number of transgender perpetrators was zero. Some of these assaults did happen in bathrooms, and in most cases, it was with another person of the same age as the victim. So again, according to these numbers, it's not transgender people that we have to worry about in bathrooms. And if we were to create laws based on these numbers, we would be creating laws to protect children from their fathers. Can you imagine a law preventing fathers from having access to their children because of this small, percentage of dads who were engaging in these crimes. Can you imagine a law preventing children from using public bathrooms just because there are a small number of incidents when one child touches another child in an inappropriate way? I don't want to tell people how they should feel about these things, but if we're basing our decisions on the reality of what is happening, let's just leave transgender people out of it. Let's let people go to the bathroom. Can we stop letting fear and paranoia and ignorance rule our lives and focus more on the problems that are staring us in the face? Like maybe climate change, like maybe over militarization, like maybe the exploitation of animals, or protecting the targets of the real crimes that really happen in the real world based on gender and race, species, religion, sexual orientation, nationality, and stop letting ignorant bigots set our agendas. I don't know, what do you think? That's it for this video. Like it if you like it. Share, comment, subscribe. This is Reg signing off. 
love yourself. Peace. And I love myself.